Hey there my friends, this is Robin Hood and today I'm bringing you the second battle from the subscriber game night. So this one is against Paco and Danny and uh, once again it's me and Indy Pride. And yep, for those of you who didn't see the first one, link to it will be at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, this was really fun. Thank you all for showing up. It was a fun thing to do and I plan on probably doing another one because that worked out well. But this is on the Lowlands map, second battle here. And uh, Danny, it's been a few of my videos now. Uh, he's a good friend. And then this time, if you guys saw the last video, you saw that I brought a more skirmish army like was used a few months ago before Fall of the Samurai. Uh, back then that army beat almost everything and I learned in the last battle that that is no longer the case because I had not played this game after the patch that had nerfed all of that stuff so this time I'm only bringing one bow and a lot more infantry I've got katana samurai three nodachis two katanas uh, naginata attendants and quite a bit more cav I have three yari cavalry and three katana cavalry over here and then my opponent Paco here, he has Fire Cav, four, three Yari Cavalry, and two Naginata Cav. And his main core, he's got two Bow Samurai, maybe three. Yeah, three, or a Daiku there. Four Naginata Attendants, two Naginata Samurai, and four Katana Samurai. Then his general, Danny here, has got tons of Bow Samurai. How many? One two three four five of them or Bo Ashigaru actually yeah that's an interesting choice then he's got two Yari Cav, a Bo Cav, two Bo Cav, a uh, Katana Cavalry he's got these Naginata Samurai and all of these Nodachis that's looks to be five Nodachis and the two Naginata Samurai and Indy here has all of his Cav he's got two Great Guard Bow Cav, two of them, and a Yari Cavalry. Then his infantry is Yari Ashigaru. Uh, looks like Naginata Samurai, Yari Ashigaru. It's pretty much the same as the past, last battle. Naginata Monk, Nodachi, Yari Samurai. Okay, so over here, basically he has more cavalry than me, but I want to win the cav fight, obviously. So I brought over this Naginata Attendant and my general. And in the center I have the 200 range, so I am going to use that to skirmish with this Daikyo Samurai. And we both have Daikyo Samurai, but I am going to end up winning this fight, which, uh, you know, makes sense. I have the better unit. One Chevron versus his, or my, what is that, six Chevs there? Yeah. So my bow unit's going to win that pretty handily. And then back here, just uh, his... One bow samurai was shooting at my calves, so I'm going to move back a little bit. I've got this Naginata attendant here once again, and uh, bringing my general back to the center. And it's at this point, we see my opponent, he has quite a few spears, and uh, there's not that many swords. My infantry body could easily beat his, plus with all of his cav, my katana calves not going to be that much use over here at the moment. So I'm going to split it up. I'm going to have one unit go around this way, one through like that, and then this unit's going to hang around to maybe get in a uh, attack on Paco. And we're going to attack Danny though with my Katana Cavalry. The reason for this is if you look, all of his spears are up here, and uh, he's got all of these bows and swords down here. So, you know, he's got a lot more things that my katana cavalry can do well against and here the bow fight is going again uh, my bow is against two of his bow samurai now he's sending forward these two naginata attendants so i am bringing over a katana samurai to fight them just make sure they go down quickly here i got off the attack with my katana cav on his bows and my bow unit is going to route his other one very good unit pull out the katana cav i have this naginata attendant sometimes i do this just as an, a distraction just charging them across i know they're not really going to do anything but over here my katanas went in my Na naginata attendants went in my katana samurai are going to make short work of this unit and shuffling all my cav around this cav unit is going to charge in there 
and then uh, you know fight off that unit bringing this cavalry unit around the flank my swords and my spears one so my spears are going to help with that back here my katana cav shifting and over here this katana cavalry unit came in killed off a bow unit and part of another one and they are going to pull out there got this unit sitting here and another one right there you can see my things in the middle are doing well here he is actually going to hit my bows they've pretty much done their work though there's not that much more they can do so I'm bringing forward the other spears and uh, with the help of the Naginata attendants and the swords I'm actually gonna win the cav fight over here so yeah that was that was pretty good this unit's gonna have to come back and fight now and uh, I have them caught they're not gonna do much and then this unit accidentally did not notice they came over here this unit came in did a strike on that katana samurai and then I accidentally left them too close so I have to order them away and over here I have my katana cavalry going to town on these nodachi samurai so you know that's that's gonna hurt Danny pretty badly and then I end up pulling them through and getting a very nice hammer and anvil this unit's still alive and you can see at this point his last cav unit was going after my general uh, the cav is still just running around I'm letting my infantry body ignore it there's not that much to worry about and all three of my cavalry however depleted they are do actually make it out of that battle so you can see with the help of a little swords and spears I win the uh, the cavalry fight there and I think it's right here here comes my katana cav look at this nice big blob of troops and there they go epic hammer and anvil to rout that flank uh, that is going to do some damage there and these guys got wow they rounded now I believe no they're right there got a hundred fifty kills there that was very 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 nice charge but they're gonna end up routing but the damage has been done and on my side of the battle I'm just gonna go ahead and attack now I've got the cavalry supremacy gonna move it around the flank and have my spears back here I could have meat shielded with them but there's nothing really to meat shield against got my general Indy has won his side of the battle I've got a katana cavalry fighting a Yari cavalry over here um, yeah that's not the best of things he actually sent his last surviving cavalry unit over here uh, and instead of you know back to fight my cav so I guess he was trying to help his ally win um, but Indy's gonna just roll over and that's the end of that you can see all the bodies from that battle and then you can see my attack commencing so we've got my swords clashing here in the woods along the center charging up the hill and my calves just sitting here waiting in the back for an opportunity and uh, here's Indy's bow calf I told him not to help me in the battle so he's not gonna send his infantry but his his bow calves gonna do a little bit and I've got this katana samurai flanking but you can see my swords are just gonna blast right through his center plus I have the stand and fight going and uh, here comes a hammer and anvil to win this flank and that is going to be the end of him so good game to both opponents you can see here that I caught his general with cavalry too uh, my cavalry just kinda went to town there my cav was definitely the most deadly part of my army in this battle and it brought back my memories of destroying people with cavalry in the vanilla shogun you know people will use the the most powerful build they can um, and I I don't do that I play the way I want to play sometimes when I fight that really powerful build uh, there's just nothing I can do due to how my army set up but you know I will take a, two, a few defeats to be able to play the way I want to play and enjoy it because quite frankly I don't care at all about stats um, I just want to have fun and generally the more fun battles to watch are not the ones in my opinion with the really powerful matchlock builds it's uh, the one where there's some cool maneuvering and cavalry I love cavalry but there you can see quite a few kills they did well and uh, let's see yeah my cab up top katanas daikyo's rest of the cav 
Paco's cav was on top, that was the one unit that wouldn't die. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, <laughs> just that monk cav, they were tough. They just pushed through everything, they pushed through the spears. Indy Pride's cav did well, and then his swords, spears, Yariash. Wow, that's a lot of kills for an unveteran Yariash Agaru. Surprisingly, his great guard didn't do that much. And Danny, his katana cab did okay. But yeah, good game to Danny and Paco. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you next time with more. Okay there guys, if you liked that video, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and click that subscribe button for more. Also provided is a link to my Facebook and Twitter accounts so that you guys can go and check that out. And in the bottom left, we have a link to the last video in this series so that you guys can go and check that out if you haven't already. And on the right is a link to my other channel, Robin Hood FPS, which features all of my first-person shooter gameplay. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, go check out that channel, and thank you for watching.